Jurassic World Dominion ended with a huge Mosasaurus swimming free in the ocean. But that's not the end of the story. There's a crazy theory about this giant sea monster in Jurassic World 4, and it has to do with InGen's darkest secrets. We were hoping for some type of marine reptile, and so we wanted to give them the, the, the biggest and baddest of, of those marine reptiles. What if our oceans aren't safe anymore? What if the Mosasaurus isn't the only prehistoric sea creature InGen brought back to life? Now to the story of a sea monster with 130 razor sharp teeth, the biting force of a T-Rex. Could those scary shark attacks we've been hearing about be a sign that something even worse is happening? 16 year old a surfer was bitten by a shark this week off of Fire Island in New York, leaving him with a pretty sizable gash on his foot. You can see it right there. People are saying they've seen huge shadows in the water, and fishermen are telling stories about giant creatures they've never seen before. Jurassic World 4 might be all about this scary idea. We could see a huge battle between nature's creatures and InGen's genetically engineered monsters. The Mosasaurus and other prehistoric sea creatures could be fighting for control of the ocean. Let the speculation begin. So we all know the Mosasaurus, that giant sea monster from Jurassic World, right? I think the, the biggest misconception is that they are dinosaurs, which uh, is, is not the case. The one that eats sharks for breakfast and jumped out of the water to chomp down on the Indominus Rex. Yeah, that guy. You kidding? First of all, did you know that the Mosasaurus wasn't a real dinosaur? Mosasaurs were fully marine, which means that they did not return to the land, so they're very big. It lived about 70 to 66 million years ago and was basically the T-Rex of the sea. These guys were huge, um, like 50 feet long huge, and they ate pretty much anything they could catch. Fish, turtles, even other Mosasaurs. In the Jurassic World movies, the Mosasaurus is even bigger and badder than the real thing. InGen, the company that created the dinosaurs, made this one extra large with a bite even stronger than a T-Rex. There's, because they're water-based, there's no limit to how big they could potentially be, so you're well within the limits of, of what a Mosasaur could be. It lives in a giant lagoon and is a star attraction at the park eating sharks for the amusement of the visitors. But things take a turn when the park falls apart and the Mosasaurus escapes into the open ocean. Suddenly, it's not just a park attraction, but a wild animal with a taste for anything that moves. Remember that scene where it grabs the Pteranodon carrying Zara out of the sky? Yeah, that was pretty intense. And now, with Jurassic World 4 on the horizon, the Mosasaurs is back in the spotlight. After the events of Fallen Kingdom, this big guy is roaming the oceans freely, and there are rumors that it might not be alone. Some people are saying that there could be other prehistoric sea creatures out there which could explain the rise in shark attacks and the mysterious sightings of giant shadows in the water. Could Jurassic World 4 be about a war for control of the oceans with the Mosasaurus leading the charge? Could we see even more crazy hybrid creatures created by InGen? Hold on to your snorkels, Jurassic enthusiasts, because we're about to embark on a deep dive into the mystery surrounding the Mosasaurs in the upcoming Jurassic World 4. How many can you save? 11 species, for sure. I mean, more if we can, but time. Jurassic World 4 has been filming in various locations worldwide, including the picturesque island of Malta. 
While Thailand might stand in for a new island paradise and the UK is likely home to studio work, Malta's involvement has ignited a wave of speculation. Why Malta, you ask? The answer lies in the island's renowned Malta Film Studios, boasting massive water tanks perfectly suited for capturing epic underwater scenes. This tantalizing detail has led many fans to theorize that the Mosasaurus will take center stage in these aquatic sequences. Given its prominence as the underwater apex predator in the Jurassic franchise, it's not far-fetched to envision the Mosasaurus engaging in thrilling battles with other prehistoric sea creatures, or even forming unexpected alliances with dinosaurs on land. It's gonna get really crazy in a minute, really crazy. I just think it's the most epic Jurassic Park death I could possibly imagine. The possibilities for underwater encounters in Jurassic World 4 are vast and exciting. And uh, the Mosasaurus is perfectly positioned to be at the heart of it all. Action, wait for it, Eric, and now move. But Malta's role might extend beyond just a filming location. The island nation is steeped in history, with ancient temples and megalithic structures that could hint at a deeper connection to the dinosaurs. I know this must feel exotic, but if you mess with the wrong person down here, you disappear. We've already witnessed the Mosasaurus' raw power and ferocity as it dispatched formidable foes like the Indominus Rex. Now, imagine this colossal creature unleashed in the vast open ocean, free from the confines of its lagoon. Skipper SS Venture, you are approaching the breakwater at flank speed. The underwater realm of Jurassic World 4 could be a battleground for dominance among colossal titans with the Mosasaurus leading the charge. Rumors have swirled about the introduction of new hybrid creatures in Jurassic World 4, adding another layer of intrigue to the Mosasaurus's potential role. Could the Mosasaurus's DNA be spliced with that of another dinosaur, creating a monstrous hybrid that defies imagination? Or perhaps we'll encounter a never-before-seen species of Mosasaurus? even larger and more terrifying than the one we've grown to know. While we'll have to wait for the film's release to uncover the truth, the clues from filming locations and the franchise's penchant for genetic experimentation certainly suggest that the Mosasaurus will undergo a fascinating evolution in Jurassic World 4. Hold on to your prehistoric hats, Jurassic fans, because we're about to venture into the uncharted waters of speculation and possibility. While the Mosasaurus has already made its mark on the Jurassic World franchise, there are whispers and rumors swirling about, a whole new cast of underwater terrors that could steal the spotlight in the upcoming installment. As we previously discussed, Jurassic World 4 is returning to the stunning island of Malta. But this time, the focus isn't on its picturesque landscapes. Instead, the filmmakers are setting their sights on the island's rich underwater ecosystem, sparking a wave of speculation about the prehistoric creatures that might lurk beneath the waves. Could these be just rumors, or is there something more to this underwater mystery? Before the Mosasaurus ruled the seas, there was Dunkleosteus, a 30-foot-long Devonian-era apex predator. When Dunkleosteus had seen a predator or seen a prey item in front of it and wanted to attack it, it would drop its lower jaws down. This prehistoric tank, with a head encased in bony plates and a bite that could crush bones, is a far cry from the sleek and agile Mosasaurus. Probably the biggest, baddest fish that lived at the end of the Devonian era. Could we witness a clash of titans as these two giants fight for dominance? Imagine the sheer power and brutality of a battle between these two ancient behemoths.
move over Loch Ness Monster. If you're going to see something big and mysterious swimming around in these waters, this is the time when you're going to see it. Because the Lyopleurodon is here to claim the title of the most terrifying creature lurking beneath the waves. This massive pliosaur from the Jurassic period was a master hunter. With a length exceeding um 75 feet and a massive jaw filled with razor sharp teeth. Could its presence in Jurassic World 4 introduce a new level of danger? As this apex predator challenges the Mosasaurus' reign. This is control put out a park wide. Hang up the damn phone, please. Sorry, I'm getting new information. Of course, these are just theories, and we'll have to wait for the film's release to see what surprises the filmmakers have in store for us. But the Jurassic World franchise has a history of bringing our wildest prehistoric dreams to life. I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. I'm talking about man-made cataclysmic change. Alright Jurassic fam, we've just scratched the surface of the underwater mysteries lurking in Jurassic World 4. From the Mosasaurus potentially facing off against ancient rivals like the Dunkleosteus, Liopleurodon, and Plesiosaurus, to the possibility of mind-blowing new hybrids. This film is shaping up to be an epic underwater showdown. And let's not forget the incredible team behind this project. With the legendary Steven Spielberg as executive producer. Uh, incredible science that allowed them to believe the dinosaurs were now walking amongst us. And the brilliant mind of David Kipp on the script. The story of how I started is not a good one. It's, it's not easy to like me. Um, we know we're in for a thrilling story. Director Gareth Edwards, known for his visually stunning work on Godzilla and Rogue One, is sure to bring the underwater world of Jurassic World to life like never before. I love Jurassic Park. I think the first movie is a cinematic masterpiece. And with a star-studded cast featuring Scarlett Johansson. This I know, Scarlett um, will find a way Oh, no way! Jonathan Bailey, Rupert Friend, Manuel Garcia Rarulfo, Luna Blaze, David Yacono, and Mahershala Ali. The performances are guaranteed to be captivating. Remember, these are just theories for now, but the clues are definitely there. We've got Malta's stunning underwater world as a backdrop. A history of genetic experimentation in the Jurassic franchise, and a whole lot of speculation from eager fans. So what do you think? Are you ready to dive into the depths and face the unknown? Let's hear your wildest theories and predictions in the comments below. Which prehistoric sea creature are you most excited to see? Do you think the Mosasaurus will retain its crown as the apex predator, or will it be dethroned by a new challenger? And hey, while you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for all the latest Jurassic World updates and theories.